It's the Date Master. And yes, we're back again with another video. Oh, yes. As I promised, the Super Predator series commences now. When you come in, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe button and the notification bell if you enjoy this content. As I stated in my previous video, in all of my videos, if you dig one grave, you must dig two. We've come into a area, a space in life, a school of thought has been developed. A few schools of thought, as a matter of fact. And the reason why I do these videos is to inform men of all of the chess pieces on the board in which they must go against. You truly believe that the woman that you're laying next to just you, you have to look at women in their prime. Who she dates in her prime is who she really wants to be with. That is her type. You must understand this. Some women can extend their prime on out. Some women don't hit their prime until later on in life. Those are the unicorns. We're not we're not talking about them. Look at the masses when you go on Walmart. And depending on the area and you're depending on the area and the ge geographic location, you're going to see a certain type of people from a class, weight, size, ethnicity, etc. And if you're in a majority black city, you're going to see a certain demographic of women in these stores by themselves. Those used to be the young bad bitches who had it all figured out. I'll say that again. Those used to be the young baddies, the tenderonies in their era. We have a good amount of hubris that we do not truly acknowledge until it's too late. You're aging every day. You're get you're going to get old. So women's game knowing this is to catch a tiger by the toe. Just look at the thumbnail in which I highlighted the women who are the most notorious from left to right. You should know who these women are. And if it if I was not going to keep it all the way a thou wow, let's look at the complexion and the ethnicities of a majority of these women and look at their cases and measure and let's measure them up. See, we talk a lot about the black woman is this, the black woman is that. You know, we all have our struggles as far as the women in each racial group or ethnic ethnic group. But in this case, you're talking about let's take Larsa Pippen, for example. She's the ringleader right now. Marcus Jordan actually believes she's in love with him. A woman who was married to Scottie Pippen in his prime, winning the championships. These women are about securing the bag. So when you hear that phrase from a woman, you must understand her mindset and you more likely want to get away from her as quickly as you can. Take her out of the rotation because you're nothing but a tool to her. You're a tool on her. You're a tool in her toolbox of success. She pulls you out or she she say, OK, I like this tool. Notice how women date as they age. Now you're getting women saying they like the truck driver. Oh, you're a truck driver. You're more likely getting played. Again, I, I stated this in some of my videos before. I've seen a woman date truck truck driver after truck driver and basically build a business off of the tricking. See, in modern day, women want their men, boyfriend, husband, etc., to be their tricks. I'll say that again. Women want men to be their tricks. So when you see a woman speaking in such a way that describes a trick John relationship with her, she's done this before. This would actually she likes this because it benefits her the most. Oh, we know the stronghold of this recession is getting is taking effect. Oh, we know. We know. We know this recession is starting to kick in that ass. So you're going to see these women talking about more dealing with a man who's driving a forklift you're going to see it on your timeline just just pay attention this is why all your social media outlets is important because it exposes a different level of uh, manipulation that each woman uh practice so we know that recession is strangling that ass because yes gas and i'm in alabama and i'm sure it's higher in other places gas is about 340 ish a gallon we know how that looks on the wallet 
you must understand these women's eating habits, the cosmetic habits, the practices in which they have to maintain an image is squeezing the hell out of that purse. So now she has to make haste because the cold season is on the way. So you're going to you're seeing a lot of relationship conversation and banter. Do not pay attention because I've seen women say out their own mouths that they're only making this post for the engagement bonus that Facebook is offering. So you must understand that Facebook and other social media platforms incentivizes ignorance to be conveyed because they know that ignorance is going to be soaked up like a sponge. The mindset of that ignorance is going to be soaked up like a sponge, which is why you can pull up 20 to 30 girls, uh, Instagram, Facebook, etc., And it looks like the damn same person, just a different face and a different name. Same selfie pose, same phone, same purse. So these women turn into predators when they are not in a feminine state. Because they only, when they're not feminine and submissive, all they know is survival. That independent shit, that is just a myth. The independence is the state of being. The mindset is, I'm independent, but I don't really want to be independent. That's just the condition. But whenever they're not in their most feminine, they turn into the succubi. They start to prey on men and men's resources. Marcus Jordan. Evelyn Lozada started this trend when she got with Ocho Cinco and Floyd Mayweather. You, you just have to ask. Okay, baby, damn. You dated a famous boxer, a famous NFL player, famous baseball player. This is why women do not like having the body count conversation. This is why. Women just want you to say, if you cre if you create a safe space for us, we can come in and sh shut the fuck up. You see, we have to do all of this. Create a safe space is how you say it. Meanwhile, they're doing and saying everything to the most extreme level of disrespect to you on a daily basis. But it's asking for sanctuary and amnesty. When you're nothing more than a resource that she will use until you're no longer resourceful. Until you're no until you're no longer needed. Just ask Evelyn Lozada, Larsa Pippen, Amber Rose, Kim K, Brittany Renner. Ask them where their last man is. I'll wait. Ask them what happened to the last relationship, uh, Mariah Mills. Ask them what happened to the last long-term relationship. And what are they doing now? Fucking around. Looking for the next trick. And Marcus Jordan, you're it. See, Larsa Pippen is playing the long ball. She knows she doesn't have any options. So to get an option such as Marcus Jordan, who's the son and heir to Michael Jordan... The greatest of all time. Yes, the greatest of all time. She's praying and hoping that any given day he, he croaks because guess who's going to inherit the kingdom? Which is why she's pushing for this marriage to go ahead and take place. Get you on the hook. OK, I ride this out. She, she She's loving the dick because he's young. He he never had someone. She she can take as much dick as you can throw at her. So it's it's almost like it's not it's not even phasing her. She can take as much dick as you can throw at her. So he's going to get his rocks all the way off. And get locked in. But these are the super predators of today. See, they don't speak about the female predator the same way they speak about the male predator. Chris Hansen. Not a lot of segments with the women praying after the boys. We just see these on anonymous reports, leaving out all of the details, such as their name, the city, etc. We have to go and dig and cipher through hundreds of thousands of these cases that happen almost the same amount as it does with the men. This is what you call hypergamy unhinged. No loyalty equals predatory for the most part. See, men will sit up and tell they uh, tell a woman, hey, the top three things on the list from a woman is loyalty. Yet you will never hear a woman say loyalty is what she brings. 
or loyalty is what she embodies. Because if you did, bitch, how are you in my face? Which is why she don't want to tell you about the the four ex lovers, the four boyfriends and the three sneaky links that don't know that no one knows about. Except the other guy that she linked up with. See, I have a, a, a crazy resume when it comes to women. This is why I started this channel. Having such a vast experience. I've seen it all. I've done it all. I've, I've had women on the same team. In the office, out of the office. It, the game does not stop. If your woman is in corporate America, she's working at a call center. <laughs> it's just a matter of time. Because last time I checked, uh, most of these companies are always hiring. So it's only a matter of time before the environment is set for her lovely, her, for her love of her life to walk through that door. And she's hooked. The smell, his cologne, he switches his cologne up every day, his look, his style, his conversation. It's a breath of fresh air to her. If a woman does not have any back, uh, track record of loyalty, then she's a predator. Not in a pedophilic way, but she's preying on men in a sexual, uh, sexually manipulative way, knowing he's weak. For sex, knowing he's weak to be appreciated or feel that feeling of appreciation when he pays a bill, when he relieves a financial burden from her. He pats himself on the back thinking he did some man shit when she's texting, girl, yeah, he gave me that 650. I got his ass for another 250 last week. I'm going to break his ass. She's going to break you financially and emotionally. She'll break you. And then you'll do the same thing. Think you're gonna and you're gonna date in that same pool. You're gonna get something else. Oh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go to this end in the pool, not knowing you're still in that same pool. You have to change environments to change the quality of people that you come across, and you must be very, very picky. These super predators are among you right now, speaking all feminine, acting all innocent and sweet, when they're the dirtiest sluts in the game. Which is why they have to play such a sweet role. See me, I'm going to be an asshole unless it's, I'm dealing with customers and clients. That's different. But for the most part, I can be this way because I don't have an agenda. I don't, ha I, I don't have anything to hide. I don't have anything to gain. I'm not looking for clout. I'm not looking for a million subscribers on YouTube. I'm not looking to get rich and famous by telling you to hit my cash app 47 times during my live stream. This is simply a gift as I give to you free game because I know it. A lot of these guys who got the the, the super dope setups, that's cool. The, the 19,000, that's cool. But I guarantee you they don't have 10 percent of experience with women that I do. They just don't. So you must understand this game that you're playing. Predators are among you. If you're a well-to-do man, you're on the track to become successful. You must be very picky. And I know you want to date down. You hear the podcast say, I'll date the McDonald's girl that's in the... Shut the fuck up. No, the fuck you won't. You a fucker and that's it. Do not listen to these guys telling you to go into McDonald's and all of this. To... No. you Once you get to a certain level... Which if and if it's a high uh, window and it's very a very small percentage, you date the best of the best. You get the best of the best, or you get the newest, meaning youngest. But you don't go down to the bottom of the barrel because you reach such a high level of success. You think you can go down and she's gonna worship you because you made it. That that is not how this works. Because you cannot buy or invest in biology and physiology. You cannot buy that. There is no courses. There are no uh, consultations. That None of that shit applies to real life. Biology and physiology does not lie, and it cannot be cheated, bargained with, paid. It cannot be bought. But stay tuned for a part two as I dive into that a little bit more in depth. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. It's the Dave Master.